sticking in it and all that and his ankle bone is exposed so it's like you can see this hole into in, into the actual bone you're, you're a doctor right yeah so you, you you're not grossed out by this i was i looked at it, i was like that's nasty <laughs> so the, the the kid looks at him and says so mister you mind if we ask you um, are you in pain right now and he said yeah he said well on a scale of one to ten with one being no pain ten being excruciating pain where's your pain and, and the guy said it's like a 15. <laughs> and the boy's, boy's like, well, that's not good. He says, would it be okay if I put my hand on you and prayed for you? And when we get done praying for you, you're going to put the crutches down and you're going to walk on your ankle. And the, the man said, no, no, I'm not going to do that because if I put my foot down on the ground, it makes the pain even worse. And he goes, no, no, you don't understand. We're going to pray for you and the pain's going to go away. So the 13-year-old boy puts his hand on him and he says, pain go in Jesus' name, healing come, kingdom of heaven come. God, thank you so much for healing this man. I mean, it was about a 30-second prayer. And as he's, as he's praying, I'm watching this, right? And the guy's eyes go from being normal to like this huge saucer. Visibly, he's being affected by what's going on. And so the, the young man looks at him and he goes, okay, now where's your pain on a scale of 1 to 10? And he goes, it's, it's like a 3. He goes, and I'm not just telling you that to make you feel good. It really is like a three. Because we get that sometimes. People will say, oh, yeah, yeah I'm good now. You know, thank you yeah. for the prayer. Mm -hmm. They'll just do that. He goes, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's like a three. So the kid goes, that's not good enough. Let's pray again. So he prays again and looks up at the man, and he says, okay, now where's your pain? And he goes, it's completely gone. He said, what did you do? He said, I've been in pain for two weeks. By the way, this is... Uh, this is a guy that's been at Grady, and you know he's been in constant pain. So he's, he's asking for an explanation. The boy goes, Jesus just healed him. That's how much he loves him. And so the man looks at him, and he goes, there's two things that you have no idea. And the boy's like, what? So this is like 3 in the afternoon. He said, 10 o'clock this morning, a complete stranger stuck his head into my uh, hospital room. And he looked at me and said, hey, keep your chin up. The miracle's on its way. This is the, what the man's recounting to us. I, I mean, I'm like, man. <laughs> so, the next thing he says is even more amazing. He goes, and you know what? I'm scheduled to have my foot amputated tomorrow, and I'm going into the hospital right now to tell the doctor. Two 13-year-old boys. All they, all they did is they chose to believe that the Holy Spirit in them was enough to heal this man. Oh, yeah, yeah, so he finally he looked at the guy and he goes, okay, so you, you can put the crutches down. And you can see the guy hesitate just for a second and put the crutches down. And as best he could, because he had this halo around his ankle, he was just kind of doing, doing this number. He, he, he's looking, he's going, this is, this is an absolute miracle. Um, one question. Did the skin actually heal back on the no, it did not close up. That would have been even cooler. <laughs> that would have been even cooler. But we were pretty amazed that the pain was gone and he could actually actually walk. Yeah. So, again, the, the encouragement is that the Holy Spirit in you can, can do amazing things. And, and you know, one of the, one of the things that, that I think is important to address, there's this ugly thing that the enemy uses to keep us from stepping out and, and actually believing that God can do these things. And it's called fear. Right? So how many times have you heard that, stall, that small still voice? And you start to think, okay, but if I do that and then nothing happens, then what? It's just going to look awkward. Yes. <laughs> but if you, then but you, if you do that and something happens, you got a new believer. Absolutely right. So, 100% of the time when you don't pray for people, Nothing's nothing happens. Gonna happen. Right? And so when you do pray for people, there's, a, there's an awesome opportunity for, for good things to happen. And so it's just getting past that, that fear. That fear. What, what are they going to think? How are they going to respond? And I, you know, I shared the story that sometime in, in giving prophetic words, I, I, I've actually asked people, hey, would, would you mind if I shared something to God? gave for, for you and they'll look at me and go yeah and I'll start saying it and they'll go 
I do think a lot of times it's just God, a little test. Are you going to be faithful to do this regardless of the outcome? Are you going to be faithful to just go ahead and step into the moment? Do what I'm asking you to do regardless of, of what the result will be? So that's, those are the kinds of opportunities that, that, that we all have. I mean, you look at the world that we're living in and it's right, absolutely right, for God to do amazing things and to do miracles. And if, sometimes if it doesn't work on the first Sometimes God's just giving you a test of faith, so you should at least try